اهلا بكم في فيديو جديد وحلقه جديده من لقناتنا انجليش فور اربس النهارده ان شاء الله هنكمل بيت الوحده ال11 انترتشينج 1 يونت 11 ثيرد اديشن الفيديو هيتضمن معاني كلمات النص الثاني من الوحده ال11 شرح بالجرامر والباور بوينت لكان وشود القواعد بتاعت كان وشود الجزء الثالث طبعا شرح وإجابة الأسئلة الخاصة بالوحدة أما الجزء الأخير فهتضمن الورك بوك فوكاب الكلمات الخاصة بكلمات الوحدة الحداشر والخاصة الورك بوك Let's start 7 7 The words related to exercise number 7 in unit 11 Interchange 1 Unit 11 3rd edition 7 And what else? What else? What a T of D. And what else? Is there anything more? Is there anything more? You shouldn't mess. You should see. You shouldn't mess. You should see. Fine arts. The National Museum. The National Museum. Eight. Should. Plus main verb. Should. L silent. Should. Plus main verb. Can plus main verb 13 Cool Wonderful Cool Wonderful Destination Destination Stress before Shen sound Destination The place to which a person travels The place to which a person travels Cruise Pleasure trip on a large boat Cruise Pleasure trip on a large boat Pleasure and also in British pleasure. Castle, castle, T silent, castle. Large building where kings and other rulers lived. A large buildings for kings. You can make it short, large building for kings. Ancient, very old, very old. Yeah, sound between Y and O. Very old. Don't say very old, no. Very old. Ballet. Ballet, T silent. The word is French. Ballet, classical European dance. That tells the story. Ballet, a classical European dance that tells the story. Locals. People who live in a place. Locals, people who live in a place. Opposite to locals, foreigners, tourists. Tango, Latin American dance. Latin, T soft D. Tango, Latin American dance. Canals, canals, waterways for boat travel. Water, water, T soft D. Waterways for boat travel. Canals, waterways for boat travel. Delta, delta. Land where a river divides it into smaller rivers. Delta, a piece of land where a river divides it into small rivers. You know, here in Egypt we have the delta. Like, uh, yes, it's a piece of land. The Nile divides it into small rivers like Rashid and Damyatta or Rashid and Dumyat branches. Wafra Rashid or Dumyat. That's the end of the vocab book Unit 11, Part 2. Unit 11, Interchange 1, Unit 11, Part 2, Exercise number 7. Conversation. Look at the picture here. What do you see? What's this? A lot of cars. Very big building. What is it? A college. A university, 
or a museum. The Palace of Fine Arts. The Palace of Fine Arts. This is the Palace of Fine Arts. It's a very big museum. Second picture. This is like pyramid, a pyramid. Uh, is it like Saqqara pyramid in Egypt? Hmm. Maybe, yeah, it's like Saqqara pyramid in Egypt, but we don't have these bricks in Egypt. This is the pyramid of the sun. The pyramid of the sun, not in Egypt. It's not in Egypt. The pyramid of the sun is not in Egypt. Let's start to listen. Exercise 7, Conversation. Five. Exercise 7, Conversation. What should I see there? Part A, Listen and Practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Thomas and Elena are talking. Thomas, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? A little? A little about. T of D. About B. The stress and the sound of B sound of B. The little B. About. Not A about. No. About. About. A little about. Mexico City. 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 T of D. Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Always L silent. Always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, should definitely visit the National Museum. Definitely, sure, of course. And go to T of D. And go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? What else? T of D between A and E. What a. What else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. Interesting. E is silent. It all sounds really exciting. Exciting? Interesting. First question. Where is Elena from? Elena is from Mexico City. What's good time to visit Mexico City? You can go anytime. What's the weather like in Mexico City? The weather is always nice. What should I see in Mexico City? You should visit the National Museum, the Palace of Fine Arts, and the Pyramid of the Sun. They are really exciting. Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where is Thomas from? What should you do there? Where are you from again, Thomas? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Oh. I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? What can you do there? Well, there's a lot to do. But visitors should definitely spend some time in the museums. The museums there are great. Listen again. What should you do there? Where are you from again, Thomas? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? What can you do there? Well, there's a lot to do. But visitors should definitely spend some time in the museums. The museums there are great. Where is Thomas from? Thomas is from Toronto, Canada. You should visit the museums in Toronto, Canada because the museums are great. Thomas is from Toronto, Canada, and he should visit the museums in Toronto, Canada, because the museums are great.
Exercise number eight. Grammar focus. Let's start to listen. Page seventy-five. Exercise eight. Grammar focus. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Page seventy-five. Can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. Can and should. Can. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. So this is can. Express ability to do something. You can do something. Can. Can. I can speak English. I can speak English. Usage. Why do we use can? Can use why? Ability to do something. Can for ability to do something. Ability. Example. I can speak English. Can. Means ability to do something. Ability, British ability, ability to do something. I can speak English. I can speak English. I am able to speak English. This is the meaning of I can speak English. Means I am able. To speak English, can usage ability to do something. I can speak English. Can what can he do? He can walk. He can walk. He can walk. British. He can walk. Walk, American walk. We can run. We can run. We can run. He can walk. Can. He can walk. We can run. Cannot. Can't. British can't. British can't. American can. I cannot fly. I can't fly. Can you fly like a bird? I can't fly. Here to fly like a bird. Bird. This is bird. Fly like a bird. Negative subject can't plus main verb. Yes, no questions. Can you swim? Swim. Can you swim? Yes, I can. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim in water. Swim in water. Can you swim? Yes, I can. Yes, no questions. Can you fly like a bird? 
Can you fly like a bird? No, I can't. Can you fly like a bird? No, I can't. Yes, no questions. Can, subject, main verb. Yes, subject can. No, subject can. Can, British can't, can't. What can you do? What can you do? WH questions. What? What can you do? I can speak English and French. I can help tourists. I can work a tour guide. What can you do? WH questions. What can you do? A and B. A. What can you do? B. I can speak English. I can speak English and French. I can help tourists. I can work a tour guide. WH questions. Question word what? Where? When? Why? How? Question word. Can? Subject? Main verb. What? What can you do? Where? Where can you work? How? How can you do it? How can you speak English? Why? Why can you speak English? When? When can you speak English? When can you speak English? WH questions. Question word. Can, subject, main verb. Question word. What, where, when, why, how. Should. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Should? We use should to give advice. You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. You must visit the Pyramid of the Sun. Why? Because the Pyramid of the Sun is great. Should. Should, L silent, should, should, L silent, should. Usage, why do we use should? Use, should, usage, use. To give advice, to give advice, should, to give advice. Example. You should sleep early. You should sleep early. Should sleep early. Should. To give advice. You should sleep early. Should. 
You should walk every day. You should walk every day. You should walk every day. Walk American. Walk British. Walk. You should drink milk every day. Every day you should drink a cup of milk. Milk. Drink milk. You should drink milk every day. We should drink milk every day. We should drink milk every day. Should. You should walk every day. We should drink milk every day. Form. I, he, she, we, you, they. Should plus main verb. I should. He should. He should sleep early. She should. She should walk every day. We should. We should speak English. You should. You should study hard. They should. They should listen to the teacher. Should. For. I. He. She. We. You, they, should, plus main verb, subject, should, plus main verb, should, negative, shouldn't, shouldn't, you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't smoke, negative, subject, Shouldn't plus main verb. Subject. You shouldn't. We shouldn't. They shouldn't. He, she, it shouldn't. Plus main verb. You shouldn't smoke. Negative. Subject. Shouldn't plus main verb. Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Should I go swimming? Should I go swimming? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. I change it into you. I question answer you. Should I go swimming? Yes, you should. Should I go swimming? Yes, you should. Yes, no questions. No, you know you shouldn't. You should use the subway. Should I bus in Cairo? No, you shouldn't. You should use the subway. This is the subway. This is the subway in Cairo. You should use the subway. Yes, no questions. A and B. Should, subject plus main verb. Yes, subject plus should. No. Subject shouldn't. No, shouldn't. Yes, should. Yes, no. Subject plus should. Yes, shouldn't. Shouldn't. With no. WH questions. What should I see? What should I see? You should see the pyramids and the Sphinx. 
What should I see? WH questions. What should I see? B. You should see the pyramids and the sphinx. The sphinx, the pyramids, and pyramids, the pyramids, the sphinx. What should I see? You should see the pyramids and the sphinx. Sphinx, P H F, sphinx. The sphinx, the pyramids. WH questions. Question word should. Subject, main verb, question word, what, where, when, why, how, should, subject, main verb, question word, what, where, when, why, how. A. Complete these conversations using can, can, should, or shouldn't. Then practice with a partner. In this exercise, you have four choices. You choose can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Can ability, should advice. A. I decide where to go on my vacation. I. I can't. I can't decide where to go on my vacation. I can't decide. I'm not able to decide where to go on my vacation. I can't make up my mind. I can't take a decision. I can't. I can't decide. You? Go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. This is advice. You should. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. One, can't, should. Two, I am planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think? When do you think I should go? You can go any time. The weather is nice all year. When do you think I should go? Advice. Asking for advice. You can go any time. The weather is nice all year. Ability. At any time, you can travel to Bogota. To Bogota. Number two. Should. Can. Three, should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? What do you advise? No, you should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Number three, should be no, you should. How? I should say no, you shouldn't. No. No, you should. Should I rent a car? No, you shouldn't. You should use the subway. In this question, they make a short answer. No, you should use the subway. Number three, should, should. A should and B should. Exercise number four. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Bangkok, G silent. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. For? Where can? Ability. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? B. Advice. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. 
is the best place for bargains. Bargains to buy things in very low price, in good price, in reasonable prices. For, again, can, shouldn't. Five, what? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You, you can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. What can I see? A building. You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't. You can't see anything. You are not able to see anything. Five, can, can, can. Exercise number nine, pronunciation, can't and shouldn't. Can't, can't, American, British, can't, can't. In British, in the British accent, the accent of the British people, England, they say can't. I can't answer this question, can't. American, can't. A. Listen and practice these statements, statements, sentences. Notice how the T in can't, this letter, the T in can't and shouldn't, the sound of T is not strongly pronounced. We don't have stress on can't and shouldn't. There is no stress. Page 76. Exercise 9. Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Listen again. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Practice. Read the sentences. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. Get it. You shouldn't miss the night markets. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Shouldn't. Can't. So the ta here is not strongly pronounced, we don't have a stress. Exercise number 10. Listening. Three countries. Listen to speakers talk about Japan, Argentina, and Italy. You have three countries, Japan, Argentina, Italy. What is the capital city? What visitors should see or do? The third question, listen again. One thing about each country is incorrect. Incorrect, not correct, not true. Wrong information. What's the wrong information? What's incorrect? What's not correct? Then you correct it. Let's start to listen. You will listen two times. Page 76. Exercise 10. Listening. Three countries. Part A. Listen to speakers talk about Japan, Argentina, and Italy. Complete the chart. 1. Japan has several big islands and many smaller islands. The capital city is Tokyo. 
The highest mountain in Japan is called Mount Everest. There are many beautiful Buddhist temples in Japan, and visitors should try Japanese food, especially sashimi, which is raw fish. Two. Argentina and Italy. Complete the chart. One. Japan has several big islands and many smaller islands. The capital city is Tokyo. The highest mountain in Japan is called Mount Everest. There are many beautiful Buddhist temples in Japan, and visitors should try Japanese food, especially sashimi, which is raw fish. Two. Number one, Japan. What's the capital of Japan? Capital, Egypt. Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Japan. The capital is Tokyo. Tokyo is the capital of Japan. What visitors should see or do? Visitors should see Mount Everest. Go to temples. Eat Japanese food, especially sashimi. What's sashimi? Raw fish. Fish without cooking, like sushi. Again, the answer, Tokyo. Go to temples. Eat Japanese food, especially sashimi. Number B. One thing about each country is incorrect. What is it? Japan's highest mountain is Mount Fuji, not Everest. Mount Fuji, not Everest. Number two, Argentina. What is the capital city of Argentina and what visitors should see or do in Argentina? Argentina is a large country in South America. The capital city is Buenos Aires. The people all speak French. People visiting Buenos Aires shouldn't miss the downtown area. Many interesting people gather in this area. Argentina is also a good place to buy leather. Listen again. Argentina is a large country in South America. The capital city is Buenos Aires. The people all speak French. People visiting Buenos Aires shouldn't miss the downtown area. Many interesting people gather in this area. Argentina is also a good place to buy leather. Argentina What is the capital city of Argentina? Argentina's capital city is Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Visitors should see the downtown area by leather. Visitors should see the downtown area and buy leather. Number 2 B Argentinians speak Spanish, not French. The people of Argentina speak Spanish, not French. 3. Italy. T soft D. Italy. 3. Italy is a country in southern Europe on the Atlantic Ocean. The country is shaped like a boot. It's famous for its excellent food. Everyone should try the pizza there. It's also famous for its art and old buildings, especially in the capital city of Rome. Visitors shouldn't miss that. 3. Italy is a country in southern Europe on the Atlantic Ocean. The country is shaped like a boot. It's famous for its excellent food. Everyone should try the pizza there. It's also famous for its art and old buildings, especially in the capital city of Rome. Visitors shouldn't miss that. So number three, Italy. The capital city of Italy is Rome. Visitors should try pizza, see art and old buildings. Visit Rome. Italy capital city Rome try pizza see art and old buildings visit Rome 
One thing about Italy is incorrect, not correct. Italy is in the Mediterranean Sea, not the Atlantic Ocean. Italy is in the Mediterranean Sea. Italy is not in the Atlantic Ocean. Eleven. Speaking. Interesting places. Group work. Has anyone visited an interesting country or place in your country? Find out more about it. Start like this and ask questions like the ones below. A. I visit Chile once. B. Really? What's the best time of year to visit? A. You can go anytime. I went in March. What's the weather like then? In this exercise, you will talk. You will make a conversation about a country you visited or a place in your country, a town, like Alexandria, Marsa Matruh, Hurghada, Sharm el Sheikh, Marsa Alam in Egypt, Luxor, Aswan, any good place you visit. You will answer these questions. What's the best time of year to visit? What's the weather like then? What should tourists see and do there? What special foods can you eat? And what's the shopping like? What things should people buy? What else can visitors do there? Alex, Alex is a wonderful place. In Alex, you can visit Alex in the summer and in winter. In the summer, you can go swimming, snorkeling. The weather is hot. You can eat wonderful, delicious fish. You can go to different malls for shopping. People can buy different clothes, accessories, and different souvenirs. Alex is wonderful place. So for Alex, what's the best time of year to visit? You can visit Alex in the summer. The weather in the summer is hot. Visitors should go swimming and snorkeling. They can go boating, boating to ride a boat. What special foods can you eat? You can eat different kinds of food. You can eat falafel, beans, lamb kebab, and you can eat mulukhiya or koshari. It's wonderful Egyptian food. You can go shopping in Alex in malls. You can buy desserts like fresca. Exercise number 13. Reading. Greetings from. Exercise 14. Reading. Greetings from. Look at the pictures from three email messages. What place do you think each person is visiting? First picture, second picture, and this is the third picture. Three emails. In these emails, number one, what do you see? An old building, a historical place, a castle, Prague. Prague is so cool, cool, wonderful. My sister was right. It it really is one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations. Popular 
famous. Destinations, places you like to go to. Places tourists like to travel to. Questions for paragraph number one. What's Prague like? Prague is so cool. What's Prague famous for? It's one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations. Paragraph two. The city has amazing old buildings. So far, my favorite thing is Prague Castle. It's 1,100 years old. I think it's the largest ancient castle in the world. What visitors should visit in Prague? Prague? Visitors should visit amazing old buildings. What is the favorite for Holly? For Holly, Holly, this is Holly, the writer of email, of the email. Her favorite is Prague's castle. How old is Prague's castle? It's 1,100 years old. What's Prague Castle famous for? It's the largest ancient castle in the world. It's very, very old. Ancient, very, very old. Paragraph 3. Prague also has a lot of cultural events. A lot of T sub D. Like the World's Dance Festival. I went to a ballet last night. Just last night. Holly. Holly, the name of the writer of this email. The person who wrote this email. What does Prague have? Prague has a lot of cultural events, like the World Dance Festival. The second email. Look at the picture, what do you see? Look at the picture, here. You see what? What do you see? River, boats, dragon, dragons, dragon boats, dragon boats. The dragon is famous as a symbol in China. I've definitely come to Shanghai. Shanghai at the right time. So this is about Shanghai. Summer has begun, but it's hot. It's not too hot yet. It's not too hot yet. The Dragon Boat Festival was yesterday. It was fantastic. Stan, Mr. Stan, traveled to Shanghai. What's the weather like in Shanghai? It's not too hot. What's the Dragon Boat Festival like? It was fantastic. Paragraph 2 If you come to Shanghai, you should, see, you should see the Bund. The Bund, a street with terrific shopping, nightclubs, and hotels. It's crowded with locals and tourists. It has some wonderful buildings from the 19th series. So if you travel to Shanghai, you should see the Bund. What's the Bund? A street with terrific shopping, nightclubs, and hotels. What's the band crowded with? It's crowded with locals and tourists. Locals, people from Shanghai. Tourists, foreigners. What's Shanghai famous for? It has some wonderful buildings from the 1930s. Paragraph 3. I went to the night cruise of the Hungabu River last night. I met some great people on the boat, mostly foreigners like me. Foreigners, G-Silent. 
Stan went on a night cruise. Cruise, you have fun in the river. A cruise in the river. Who did Stan meet? Who did Stan meet? Stan met some great people on the boat. Most of them were tourists like him. They were tourists, they were foreigners. Picture 3. Look at the picture. Two persons, they're dancing. So what's this place? Is it a nightclub? No, it's Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is a fun city, but six days is not enough time for a visit. I'm staying near the mile-long shopping street called Cold Florida. It's a great place to meet people and watch dancers perform the tango. Buenos Aires is the birthplace of the tango. Buenos Aires is a fun city. Six days is not enough time for a visit. You need more time. Melinda. Where is Melinda staying? She's staying near the mile-long shopping street called Coal, Florida. It's a wonderful place to meet people and watch dancers perform the tango. Buenos Aires is the birthplace of the tango. Birthplace, the beginning of tango dance, started in Buenos Aires. Questions for paragraph number one. What's Buenos Aires famous for? Buenos Aires is famous for, for the tango, for the tango dance and the mile-long shopping street called Cold Florida Cold Florida and the tango dance Buenos Aires is the birthplace of the tango Paragraph 2 I also spent the day in the suburb of Tigre Suburb our skirt, an area or a place around the city. It's about 30 kilometers from the capital, but you can get there quickly by train. We sailed on the canals of the Barano River Delta. Melinda. Where did Melinda go? Melinda? Melinda went to the suburb of Tigre. How far is the suburb of Tigre from Buenos Aires? It's about 30 kilometers from the capital. Can you go to, can you go there quickly? Of course you can get there quickly by train. What did Melinda do? She sailed on the canals of the Barana River Delta. Melinda took a boat on the canals of the Barana River Delta. She had a cruise. Number A. Read the emails, check through the cities where you can do these things. Then complete the chart with examples from the emails. One minute, try to answer. Okay, let's answer the questions. Activity. The place, this activity in Prague, Shanghai, Buenos Aires. And then you give examples. Go shopping. You can go shopping in Shanghai, Buenos Aires. Examples. The Bond, Cold, Florida. Number two, 
see old buildings you can see old buildings in Prague and in Shanghai examples 1930s buildings Prague Castle 3 see dancing see dancing in Prague Buenos Aires examples World Dance Festival Tango World Dance Festival Tango 4 Attend the festival Prague Shanghai Examples Dragon Boat and World Dance Festival 5 Take a boat trip Shanghai Buenos Aires Examples Night Cruise Sail Sailed on the canals Which city would you most like to visit and why? This is your answer and you can answer it as you like You choose would you like to travel to Prague, Shanghai, or Buenos Aires? And tell your friends and your classmates why. That's the end of unit number 11. And now let's have the vocab book, workbook for the homework. And you should watch a video. The video, write in Google interchange 1 unit 11 video in Google you will have a wonderful video about this unit about real life situation from Cambridge University unit 11 workbook exercise 6 Budapest Budapest Hungary, 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 country, name of a country, Hungary, smog, smog, O A, British, smog, smoggy, 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 British, smoggy, American, smoggy, O A. Boulevard, Boulevard, Boulevard. Century, hundred years. A century, hundred years. Population, American, population, OA in American, population. British, population, the number of people. Population, the number of people. Population, the number of people. Administrative, administrative. Admin, administ, administrative. T soft D, administrative. Administration, administration, administration. Humid, full of moisture. Of, O F of, full of moisture. Humidity. Humidity, moisture. Humidity, moisture. Freeways, highway. Freeways, highway. Freeway, highway. Motorway, motor. T of D. Freeway, highway. Motorway. Found, founded. Founded. Found established. Take care. خلبان في فرق بين find. The verb find found found. لكن ده the verb ده found found founded founded. Means to establish. To establish. Exhibit. Exhibition. Exhibit. Exhibition. H silent. Indonesia. Indonesia. A country in Asia. A country in Asia.
Indonesia, a country in Asia, Asia, Nija, take care. That here, this word Asia, مش آسيا, Asia, Asia, British and American, Asia. That's the end of Unit 11 workbook. Thanks, God. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. شكرا للمشاهدة. من فضلك اشترك في القناة لتصلك آخر إصداراتنا. Seventy-five. Exercise seven. Conversation. What should I see there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go any time. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Page 75. Exercise. Page 35. Exercise number 7. What should I see there?